My name is Nice Linus, and I'm a 300 level student of the University of Ibadan. As of now, students of the University of Ibadan are having a peaceful protest. A peaceful protest did not start today. On July 16th and July 17th, we had a peaceful protest on the same issue. On August the 29th, August the 30th, August the 31st, we had peaceful protests on the same issue. And what is the issue we are talking about? It is the fact that public education is being taken away from the rich of the poor. We are the poor. The masses are the poor. And we are the majority. Why is it that education, the list of the social services the government could give us, why should it then be taken away from our rich? When education is our last hope towards having a bright future. So we here, we have been saying, and we will keep saying, that we will not stand to watch education taken away from the assets of the poor man. We will not stand to watch our futures being mortgaged like that. Because education is a right. Education is a right that the Constitution guarantees to us. It should be free. It should be accessible. It should be quality. It should be affordable. Those are the things the Constitution sets out for the government to do. Which is why we here, through this peaceful protest, is calling on the government, the president, Tinubu, Ahmed, Bola, led government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to fund education. UNESCO recommended, let us remember, 26% of our budgetary allocation should go to education if we truly value development of this country. First, education is at the center of development. Personal development, national development, education is at the center of it, which is why UNESCO recommended 26%. But since, ever since it has never happened, that the country allocated this little, the least UNESCO set can be recommend, can be allocated. That's never happened that country allocated this little to education. And now it is worse. And the government is harassing, is removing its hands from funding education. The government is commercializing education. And that is why they've introduced the student loan. They are asking us, students of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to become debtors, to take debt just because we want to better our future, just because we want the progress of society. And we are saying, no! No, we are not taking loans. We will not turn ourselves to the don't dance. We will not turn ourselves to debtors. We will not turn ourselves to criminals. We will not go into prostitution just because we want to pay our fees. So we are demanding for one thing. And we will stay here. We will stick to having a peaceful protest until all our demands are met. And the kindness of our demand is that this be reversed totally. Then that government should fund education adequately. We are coming, we are calling on the president for our met people led government. We are calling on the professor Kayo Day uh, at the Bawale led management. We are saying that we want to reverse because we know the government of the day, we know our country has enough can fund education. It is not the duty of citizens to fund education. It is the government's primary duty. Which is why the management must go back to the government council and the government council must go to the government to relay our work with their system. We cannot fund education. We cannot do the job of government. We are poor. We do not have the ability to. So, we are requesting for total reversal of this to the status quo and adequate funding of education. I'm Comrade Sal, I'm not sure. I'm a social commentator and also a political analyst. I find it necessary and also important to join the university communities, the University of Ibadan students, in fighting the struggle of how the school fees is going to fall. Because as a one million Nigerians who believe in quality, accessible, and affordable education, and affordable education, it is mandatory for me to join. And also, I'm calling on all well-being Nigerians to also join the University of Ibadan students in fighting their oppressors, in fighting this struggle, in joining them, in, in fighting who has made their life meaningless, who has made their life difficult, who have made their life unbearable. So, we need to ask questions. Since 20, the federal government of, the, of this country demanded 
from the management of the University of Ibadan to submit a report of financial report of how they have been spending their money from 20 from 2015 or to 2020. The university management are unable to do so simply because they are unable to provide a single receipt of what they are using the money for. So we are demanding from them what are they using the money for. Are they the one paying the lecturers? Are they the one paying the non-management, non-lecturing staff? Are they the one? What are they using the money for? What are they using the money they are collecting from students? What are they using the IG app they are generating from the students, from the university community? What are they using it for? So it is important and also mandatory to demand from them that the school fees must fall. The school fees must be reversed. The wickedness must stop. Also, the victimization of the students who, who led their voice against this uh, wicked policy, against this uh, wicked, wicked act. So, victimizing them, calling them to come and, to come and answer questions in the SDC, it needs to stop. It needs to be reversed. So, we are calling on our well meaning Nigerians to join us in fighting in this struggle. Thank you. My name is Yede Folo Akishi. I'm a trainer level student of University of Ibado, Department of Theatre Arts. Our demands are total reversal in the fee hike. Total reversal in fee hike. We are demanding for the school management, for the school management to look upon us with compassion. We are not beggars, we are students, and education is a right, not a crime. We, we should not be begging, we should not be receiving crumbs because in their time they got free and fair education, quality education. So why is that now where the economy is even bad? You guys are cool with giving us bad education. And then you're not telling us that we can go ahead to collect the loans. A lot of your students are begging, dipping their hands into loans, collecting loans, crowdfunding. How long are you going to keep on crowdfunding? If you crowdfund now, next session would you crowdfund? And by the way, it's not a laughing matter. And for those that would love to hide behind religion and the organization saying that my 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 organization does not support this, a big shame on you. If you're hiding behind religion, saying that my church or my mocks, my 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 um, organization does not accept this. Protesting and fighting for your rights is not haram. So our Muslim brothers and sisters, it is not haram. Rather, crowdfunding and begging, putting your dignity on the floor should rather be around because you should be ashamed of yourself for begging for begging for your for your fundamental human right you should be ashamed of yourself protesting and fighting for your rights is not around it is not you should be ashamed of yourself if you are hiding behind religion to speak up and to fight for what is good you should be ashamed and a big shame on you if you cannot come outside and you are hiding behind religion and organization i talked to someone that is a sigma and he said sigma does not sigma does not does not partake in protest. When you know a, a student, a university of Ibadan student before you join Sigma, when you know you are a student before you became a Sigmaite. So why you say Sigma does not does not support protest? Your fraternity does not support protest, and that is wrong. You are a student before you became a Sigmaite. So protesting and fighting for your rights is not haram because we are we are, we are not carrying ammunition or arms. This is a peaceful demonstration. So you guys should learn how to fight for your rights. This is oppression of the highest order. And a lot of a lot of Nigerians, a lot of you whites are complacent with being given crumbs. You guys should learn how to speak and fight for your rights. Stop saying that, oh, 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 we are fine. If you can't fight for your school fees now, what of next session? What of then? Those that are coming after us, we don't continue to call front. The economy is not good. It is not smiling on anybody. It's not smiling on me or on you. The same way you are finding out to pay your school fees is the same way those you are depending on to crowdfund for you. I also find it out to make money. But no, you are, you are cool with it. You are cool with it. That, oh, I will let our ABC have crowdfund for school fees. Now will pay. The economy is not good on anybody. So we should all come out to fight for our rights. It's not good. And to the school management, shame on you guys for, for, for putting students through this struggle. Shame on you guys. Because education is a right, not a crime. So we should not be made to suffer for our rights. Thank you. My name is Ashef Abdeghani Steven. I'm a student of Tondra Level University of Ibadan. Firstly, uh, the protest that is the peaceful protest that is going on right now is a response to uh, many uh, many factors. Are you getting this, sir? Firstly, before I start talking, uh, Nelson Mandela, I said destroying a country or destroying a state 
doesn't require a missile bomb. It only requires for it to for it to destroy or disrupt the quality of that education. Yes, exactly what we are facing right now. The uh, the education in uh, Nigeria right now, especially the uh, University of Ibadan students, like what you are coming for right now is the total reversal of the school fee hike, inconsiderate one. Because many people right now they are considering of dropping out of schools. I've only seen one of my friends of mine that dropped out last session. So they have been like dropping out of school as a result of the total increment in the world in the school fee. Many people are unable to work, are not able to afford these school fees. And another thing is the is, is to change the is to change the policy or the uh, attempt to address to arrest or to suspend the theory UI students that's Adua your daily and others as a result of their protest which broke out on May 29. That's all, sir. Thank you. One of the greatest she won. She won. Ever conscious, she won. She won. Ever conscious, she won. Ever conscious, Greatest Nigerian student, please Great. let us come together. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Yeah. We are going to continue the protest. This protest will not end until the management of the University of Ibadan is ready to treat us as human beings. We will not stop this agitation until the government is also ready. Until the government is also ready to take us serious. Um, the reason why we are doing what we are doing today is because doing it is a must. If we fail to do what we are doing today, I repeat, if we fail to do what we are doing today, we will one day grow up to be parents and we will not be able to send would, would, no, people will still go, we still go there would not be able to send our own children to the University of Ibadan. Yes. On this campus, on this very campus, we are all witnesses to the fact that we still paid about 20-something bundled fee last session. And in all honesty, we also bear witness to the fact that, we also bear witness to the fact that it takes staff, it takes classes, it takes faculty associations, it takes fellowship, it takes MSSN, it takes some people even going online, even still, to get their 20 something thousand naira. If students would always have this outcry when they were still paying 20 something thousand naira, how much will that pain be when you've increased fee to as high as 100,000? What would the pain be when you've increased fees to as high? as 200,000. What will the pain be when you have increased our school fees from 20 something thousand to about 300,000? Simply because we are students. Simply because all we want is education that will make this country habitable for myself and every other person like us. But we will also bear witness to all that has transpired in recent time with regards to our student community. Or let me say our student union as a matter of fact as we speak there are students on this campus who have resorted in large numbers to going on twitter to going on whatsapp to going on facebook because the university of Badon management has reduced them to destitute they have reduced students to prostitutes they have reduced students to people begging arms they have reduced students to beggars. They have reduced UI students to almajiris. It is very sad. They have taken away our steeds and our composure as a student community. They have deprived us of our human dignity as human beings. Why that exists in one hand? The second thing that we have seen, one house, please. The second thing that we have seen is also that the government has in its manipulative ploy brought about the initiative of student loan. They are using our own parents' money to give us loan. 
I want to say I want to answer because we are not taking Tinubu's money. We are spending Nigeria money as a country. You are taking the people's money and you are giving it again to the people as a loan. It is unacceptable. If there is that money, if there is that huge money that you are ready to give out as a loan, am I back, babe? Whatever you use 1,000 naira to buy today, we are students. We must be honest with ourselves. We may not be parents, but there is a reality that also surrounds us. Iyeti and Ra, some sizes of bread in this session, called our Ranila session. Iyeti and Ra, some sizes of bread, called our Ra, two, three sessions ago. And so, if you are giving us loan at the moment, it is simply because you want to enslave us later. If that money is so available, if you have that amount to give to the students as loan, why not bring that same amount and inject it into the budget of the education sector? This is the only reason, or one of the most peculiar reasons, why I should go on strike. It is the last man of his strike. That's in 1985. 1985, I mean, till date. Since ages passed till today, this is the reason why I should go on strike. Why are you selling our future to us? Education is not a commodity. Education is not alubasa. Education is not pepper. Education is not gari. Education is not rice. We know that this shameless government likes rice. But education is not rice. Education is a social service. Omotaibako, Olo Makwada D. But what the government of Nigeria is doing to our students? Until Joba Nigeria and Shefan Wakeko, on the week where on the queue of our koto etu ekomo kode kode ni ribe ade ni ba, and that is why students are gathered there. And I must say that as students, let us all imbibe it into our consciousness. Hello, one house. Let us all imbibe it into our consciousness that. No matter whatever, no matter what the intimidation is, if there is any, no matter what they do here and there, this struggle must continue. Sorry, I'm cutting you short. I think simply because there is a movement, there is a free flow of car, go and fro. I think it's high time we shut down the gates. I think it is our time we shut down the gates. So, uh, wait, so, uh, let me, uh, let me. so, as I was saying, as I was saying, as I was saying, please, one house, one house, please. One house, please. We need to remain resilient. We need to remain resilient. For those of you that are here, I must be honest with you. You are not wasting your time, oh. You are not wasting your time that we have been able to come out to show this scene we have been able to communicate to the government that we are not going to take it around nonsense and swallow it that we have been able to come this far and put up this scene it is to also welcome students who have gone home out of ignorance to welcome back to welcome them back into the consciousness of the struggle we need to know what we are doing and why we are doing it and we need to get it right. We are not wasting our time here. What we are doing this morning is to, is to welcome students into the consciousness of the struggle. They sent us home for three weeks to go and also for 300,000 within three weeks in a country where minimum wage is less than 40,000 Naira. Where obtainable minimum wage is less than 40,000 Naira. It shows that the people at the end of affairs in this university, they don't know how to run the university appropriately. You cannot tell students to go and get 300,000 in three weeks. So we are here this morning, this morning, even if everybody keeps short and you stay here, you are passing a message. The struggle continues. If I die, the, the struggle will continue. So nobody is wasting time. Avoid every counterproductive statement. So that is that. If everybody stays here, if all we are going to do here is just to keep silent and let this banner speak.
It's a protest. Don't be unreasonable. So please, I am saying this so that nobody here will be discouraged by the number. Some students would also have interest to join, but possibly want to go and drop their bag. I don't know if you get the idea. So don't don't feel don't feel don't feel somehow about it. What we call student union. What we call student union. For those or for many who don't know, the student union is not the student union president. The student union is not the speaker. The highest organ of our student union is the Congress. And the Congress has stated that what it wants is not to fear I. So having, having, having that knowledge, all we have to do is to keep behind our demand. Or the job buruku here, it is until that very brutal day that we converge as a Congress and say that we don't want not to fear Ike again. And what we want to do is Babi Anla. That Babi Anla becomes what we then back on. But long as we have never and resorted to Babi Anla, long as what the Congress has said is that not to fear Ike, it must remain so. And the idea of protest is that whatever we do is part of protest. If, if all we are going to do here this morning is to all keep silent, is to wear black, and just keep silent like this and allow this banner alone to talk it is going to go global i don't know if you get the point we have many more days before us so when we when we sometimes stop the gyration to pass this message we are not wasting time it is also to get back our energy i don't know if we get it now so that is that one thing i want you to know is that more press organizations are coming and as i speak with you check your phone we are already national about this struggle. We are already national. I missed us this morning. There have been UI students. I missed us this morning. There have been well-meaning Nigerians. I missed us this morning. There have been students from even other institutions that have joined us here this morning to solidarize with us. This is where's this is Joshua from OAU. If the incident in UI is not addressed, it is coming for them in OAU. If we don't stop it in UI, if we don't stop it in OAU, it will get to four years, and at the end of it all, it will get to all colleges of education. And at the end of it all, you will not be able to send your children to universities, to polytechnics, to college of education. I don't know if we're on the same page. So that is what we are doing. So please, as much as possible, let's do what these ladies are doing. Let us speak to them. Let us engage them. Let this, let this banner be as bold as it is. Let students know that something is going on on this campus. And we have refused to be doing Babi Anla. We have reduced, we have refused to be to, to embark on crowdfunding. These alternatives are not sustainable. This is not the first time this country will come up with student loan. And the government has to go back because it's thought that it cannot sustain it. When you borrow urgent 2K, when you borrow from loan app, and you are still borrowing to study. You are going to be in an absolute debt. And this is what we must prevent. As I speak with you, before God Almighty and man, I know somebody who is, who is, who is also a 300 level student on this campus, who, who as of, I think, day before yesterday, was thinking of committing suicide. And it had to take, it had to take several persons before they could prevail upon the person. Should students be pushed to that one? We also saw it, except we want to deny that very short message of a student who had to go to do prostitution just because of this school fees. So please, let all of us still stay our ground here. Direct and when we have more press members, speak to them. If you are a UI student and you have nothing to lose, just like myself, Approach the press, speak to the press, let them know what you is, what is paining you. If you don't know what our demands are, on ye. We want total reversal of FI because we cannot pay it. We want adequate funding of education, which is the root problem. We want the end to the victimization of UI theory. Myself, Nice and Mide put the university is ready to suspend simply because we protested peacefully. We want withdrawal from the interference. This is UI. If you don't know, the electoral chairman of our student union electoral committee is the deputy registrar. It is not done anywhere. 
a deputy registrar who is not a student cannot be in the student union electoral committee. This is undue interference. This is undue interference. We want adequate supply of electricity. If you did not forget, before we went on that unsolicited three weeks break, before, if you don't forget, electricity on campus became worse compared to how it was even before that memorandum. Exam la fesh ye. See about what careful we will face that problem. We want the management to tell us that they are committed to the supply of electricity. We also want an end to discriminatory fee. Why will you be two? Why will be students and somebody will be paying sixty thousand naira for a room and the next person sleeping next to you is paying forty five thousand naira? Why are they making discriminatory charges? If they are teaching us discrimination, that means we are learning nothing. Globally, people say end racial discrimination. Globally, people will say people say end gender discrimination. Why would you not start or give us accommodation discrimination? It is only logical as students that they have taught to reject their policy. And the last one, what we wrote here is that we want democratic management of the University of Ibadan. Sherry, one of the things that led us here is the fact that if you check the acts that establish the university, there are some committees established in that act that students are supposed to be a member of, just like some professors who are members. For example, there is a committee called the Student Welfare Board. If that committee exists and students are truly there, we will not be having some of these disagreements that we have. Why would the act that establish UI say that let students be in this committee and you not give them access into that committee? When we have this committee and we have students there, students will be, will be able to speak up for us. So, thus far, if we, if we stay by all of these demands, our problems as a student community will be solved from top to bottom. So I'm encouraging everybody here, please and uh, please, don't be intimidated. The burden says concerned students against tuition fee. We are saying concerned, we are all concerned students against tuition fee increment. They got free education. I want you about free education. They got a highly subsidized education. These are people when when they were studying in UI. I mean, I want you these are people when they were studying in UI, get free food. These are people who take their clothes to the laundry and they get their clothes washed every weekend without paying a dime. We don't enjoy anything on campus. If there is anything we enjoy on this campus, it is bed bug. And that is the truth. And we cannot continue this way. And the truth is, see Abadaka, see, I want to say Babi Allah. See, See, because consciousness If we keep silent, we we'll then end up dropping out, and it is going to cause more abu. And the truth is that dropping out, not doing this struggle, is more damaging. If we don't do what we are doing, to give up. It's not.